Hello everyone. Here we have an eyepiece assembly uh, made by Optronics Engineering. It came off of a BNVD1431 that was uh, assembled by another vendor um, and it was brought to me for inspection and for a sealing service because the, the other vendor did not seal it. Um, and during inspection we found a lot of other problems, uh, one of which is that this eyepiece leaked. Um, so in the video you can see that the eyepiece leaked from or near the top of the diopter assembly, sorry, the, near the top of the diopter markings, uh, which is not that bad actually, because if it leaks from here and not in here, it means that the leak comes is coming from an O-ring and not the lens assembly itself, uh, because I've had other o optronics lenses that leaked from around here, and unfortunately I can't seal that. Um, I'm not willing to disassemble uh, the, act the actual lens components themselves, but if it is leaking from around the diopter, it means that it is leaking from the O-ring channel, which is here. Obviously, I've, I've already removed the O-ring, um, but uh, for this, well, you, you can actually see the seam lines here. Um, other manufacturers don't mold these for obvious reasons because seam lines are really bad for seals. Um, so. I'm trying to find the, the specific seam that was like the major issue. This one's not great. You can already hear the jumping. But that one, I don't think was the main issue. This one was the main issue. You can tell that the jumping sound is more distinct because the, the seam is a lot bigger. You can also tell that the molds were not lined up properly when uh, the part was made uh, because you can see that this ridge here and this ridge here they are lower than this ridge here and this ridge here. So you can sort of see how here it's not even, it kind of goes straight and then it jumps up like that and then over. Um, so obviously that's not gonna seal. And uh, what that means is when it was made, you're supposed to have two molds that sort of line up like this. Instead, they were misaligned like that and uh, the part was produced. So that is why we're having the issue that we had. I'm going to bring it up and you should probably be able to see it a bit more clearly. I think it's very obvious now that right there is not even. And right there, you actually have a small bump along with the ridge and the unevenness. The uneven cutting sound you're hearing right now is actually an indicator of how warped and non-circular the O-ring channel on this lens is. Now you can see that we've removed some more material and the sound is a lot more smooth and a lot more even. All right, let's see how it is now that uh, we've tried to clean it up on the lid. As you can see, there's still a little bit of a seam here, uh, but it's a lot better. I didn't want to remove too much material uh, because I don't know how thick it actually is right there. And um, the molding quality is actually quite poor. Uh, so it's actually not very, um, it's, it's quite oval, so when, you, when you're removing material, you end up removing more material from one side than the other. Uh, that's why you still gotta have a little bit here, but here, it's nice and smooth. And on the, other, on the other one, it's also nice and smooth. So while it's not perfect, it should be good enough to seal. So we're gonna put it back into the unit and we're gonna find out. Internally pressurized to 8.5 PSI and no leaks according to our water test. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.